Hachi Ofia, and you are watching Arise 360. Well, almost three years after the release of his groundbreaking, groundbreaking debut album, Blue of the Bullets, Chike has now released his sophomore album, and he calls this The Brother's Keeper. Yeah, that's what he calls this new album. I love it. Now, in his new album, he's reflecting on his journey so far, basking and sailing in the present, but is wary of an uncertain future in this body of work. There's so many different themes to this one. You know, he has different artists in this one as well. And we were so excited to say hello to Chike in person. Hi. Hi. Hello, Kachi. Hi. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. The last time I saw you, you were, you were, you were busy being the boo of the bullets. Uh, yeah. Now you're the brother's keeper. Yes, I am. Tell me about that. I feel like your titles, the meaning is deeper than just what we see on the surface. Uh, we, get, we get to think about it and make sure that it, it portrays, you know, the emotions and the, the feelings I'm trying to put out there at the mm -hmm. time. I mean, I always say that the brother's keeper for me is a state of mind, you know, in which I am or in which I was mm -hmm. while I was making the album, what I had become while making the album. I love it. I love it. What you have become while making the album. So here's the thing. I will yeah. tell you, I was, I, we we're having this conversation just before the conversation, the, sh the show officially started about mm -hmm. the album. That for me, I'm very selfish with my albums. And I know that as a journalist, I should probably just, you know, chug it all in and say, listen, yeah. listen. But I take my time. And when I take my time to take it in, I also take a long time to forget about it. Yeah. So with this album, I've listened to everything. Yeah. I'll say like, maybe it's because I'm in a high moment right now. Over the yeah. moon seems to be like, you know, that vibe that I would definitely yes. enjoy. I would want to dance to, you know, but I would say that this is not as mushy, you know, so... What's your phase in this body of work? I mean, you're, you're giving us real life hard lessons here. You're telling yeah. us as it is, like, see, love is out to find you. But I don't, <laughs> don't go out, don't pass yourself, that kind of thing. So um, you're giving us real lessons in this one. What's that about? Uh, for, I mean, for every song, I try to tell a story. It was just recently that I changed um, my description to Afro stories. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, I try to make sure that it's as realistic as possible. You know, what, what have I been through? What do I think people have gone through? How they react to it? So when I imagine those things, I sit down and I put it into music. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about, you know, you find it difficult to find a fave, you, you have to remember that the first album has been out there for almost three years now. Yes. That's three years. Yes. And the new album is barely five days. <laughs> I know, exactly. Thank you for so, saying that. So it's on. not a bad thing if I'm struggling, Just take right? your time. It's Thank okay. you. And that makes it's me It's a good thing that, that you're struggling, that you just not liked one song and that's it. Then yeah. that's, that's a bad album. No, listen, Chike, I feel like with you, you definitely create work that you want to last the test of time. You don't just yeah. want it to, okay, everybody chug it all in and then forget yeah. about it, right? So are you big on them? Oh, okay, if it's not number one in the next two weeks, I'm gonna be so upset or... Um, I, I, well, any, everybody wants their music to be yeah. number one. At least, I, let me not say for everybody, I, get, I want that because <laughs> it's good. The aesthetics of it is really, really good. Yeah. Um, but then the fact remains, um, the, the music just has to find its listeners. It does. And sustain itself. And for me, what I always say when I meet people now, I say, listen to the album. I try not to get distracted by number one. I mean, we've done that before. Yeah, oh, but my yeah. point is, that's not, if that, once that becomes a criteria, you almost get distracted from the actual music. So instead of telling people, experience my music, you're almost telling people, oh, please make sure you listen to my music. I'm trying to get number one. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's not the same thing. And I don't even think that's the kind of music that you put out. You put out yeah. music that you've got to digest. You've got to listen uh, to it. I guess. So you got to take your time. <laughs> so what was the writing process like? Because with things that take a lot of time to digest, it takes a lot of cooking. Uh, there was a lot of back and forth. There was a lot of, you know, when you write, you, you send it in. They're like, nah, this doesn't sound like you. Or this this is not detailed enough. Or, oh, this song is too short. You need to make it longer. Mm -hmm. You know, and, some, and to be honest, for music, for me, I need to be inspired. Okay. Even, though I'm, even though I get I get into a studio when I'm not inspired, I might I might not come out with anything solid. Okay. But if you keep going back in, at some point, maybe. So um, it was a lot of back and forth. I won't even lie to you. You know, writing, editing, changing some songs. That, some of the songs on the album that came out probably came out on their fourth version or fifth wow. version. But at the end, it's just that aim for for perfection or mm -hmm. that aim for for saying, oh, was I able to do justice to the music? Mm -hmm. What would you say gives you that ultimate joy when you, because obviously dropping that album must be such a huge release. Yes. And when you finally dropped it, what's that thing that you would say gives you the most peace or the most joy? Uh, man, I was in, I was, I've been on Twitter in as much as I try not to be on 
on Twitter, but because I barely tweet or anything. But recently, I go and check because that's when you see people talk about how they feel about the album. You know, Instagram is just pictures. People yeah, just like being there, but reels. I can tell you that for every comment that I, I saw, people express themselves in such a way that showed that they connected to the music. Is I, I've decided that that is my big win. You know, that's, that's what I'll take. You know, when people write in details that, oh, this is where I was when I listened to the song, this is how it made me feel. You know, I just believe that two years down the line, you're also going to be saying about my third album that you, know. you don't See, know Chiki, that's my which problem. one to pick <laughs> from problem. the second that's one. My and I'll tell you this, I, I don't know if you've had this conversation about Forgive yeah. before. You know, uh, that is my story with Forgive because yeah. that was definitely... And it's realistic. It's, How so? It's, I mean, it's it's everybody at some point has had to forgive something. Yeah. So it's realistic yeah. music. Yeah, and yeah. that's what you basically try to put yes. out there. And there's, there's a story there, if you remember. I tried to tell a story. Oh, mm -hmm. you've been through this, you've been through yeah. this. Make yeah, sure you, oh, that was your yeah. story. Yeah, well, we've all been there now. Chick, I don't like when I you wish you had to thing. forgive somebody. I've had to forgive, but I why do you I always... To forgive now. No, 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 chill. Do you yeah. want to interview me? Do you want to ask me about... Because no, if you... If you want to interview me, it's fine. I'm, I'm sorry. But I, I want to interview you, Chike. I, I want to know about you. If you want to see, I'm, I'm very open when I talk to people. You can ask me anything. In fact, at the end of this interview, I'll do you one solid. You okay, get to ask is... me anything you want All to right, ask. Fine. But on the yeah. condition that I get to, you know, have a heart to heart with Chike. Yeah, let's do because that. Because I, I genuinely feel like, Chike, your music is so beautiful. But why are you hiding from us? Hiding Like how? your person, the essence of Chike, not the yeah. voice. The All person, right. the, the, the talking, for instance, okay. the face, okay. the character, okay. the... Does Chike even dance? Ah, What's this Chike's favorite eh? meal? If it, see, <laughs> see uh, if, as I did for you, like, my dancing skin will be here. Yeah. Once I stand up. <laughs> These are things I that I... need to go your post. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, legit, I was just thinking about it. I'm like, apart from this sweet voice, yeah, yeah. okay. Who is, why, why though? Like, do you, are you like not a public? You don't want to be out there too much. The, the thing is, right now, most of the times I'm barely even in my own house. I might have somewhere with my family or my friends, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so it's funny how, in as much as it's not like I want to be outside mm -hmm. all the time, I'm actually not always in my space. It's okay. just around the certain people I'm comfortable with. But I can tell you something that the past few weeks, you know, I just decided that I'll come out a lot more. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I think that's a great thing, though. Yeah. So, what are you? What are you most excited about when you think about you know being out there, coming out more? You might even get into acting. I, th I think you have the face. Wow, I act. <laughs> uh huh. Exactly. <laughs> so, well, is, but that's like a that's. Would you say that's like another huge forte as much as music is? Um, or man, I, I just I get on. I, I I try to get on as as good stories as possible and as as much um, acting as I can do when it doesn't conflict with the music or mm -hmm. where I'm not able to deliver, you know, with the acting as much as uh, requ is required of me. Mm -hmm. you know, so I just try to balance it out. So I'm doing that already, okay. you know, but for me, th with this thing, man, I'm just trying to, at least, you know, for those times where I'm not worrying, I'm trying to make sure I'm having fun. I love that. And now yeah. speaking about having fun, I feel like for every artist, maybe you might want to do it, maybe you might not want to do it, but do you ever feel like I've got to help others? you know, get into this space as well. Like your niche of music, you stuck through with it. I don't feel like you're, you're, you're trying to sound like everybody else. You just want to be you and you're just staying true to that. And that's also what we are seeing on your sophomore album and people are loving it regardless. So do you ever just feel like at some point in time, maybe have a label, maybe have an academy, maybe have something where other artists who come into this space might be able to navigate their way through because um, you've learned so much the past yeah, few years. Yeah, for me now, I can tell you that, you know, how it started off still came from, you know, talking to other people who were doing music independently at the time and them mm -hmm. saying, oh, get this done. So even now, to be honest, when people reach out to me and say, oh, I want help in certain ways, like people, I don't want you to sponsor something mm -hmm. or, you know, I know that music is in an in expensive venture. Mm -hmm. And most times, what I part with is, okay, this is where to put your music. This is how to get it heard. Okay. With some people, I'm very direct. I'm like, oh, I can't do this for you. But guess what? You know, we'll see. <laughs> exactly. You say you need to talk to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but um, for now, the most important thing to me, and as selfish as that may sound, but it's important that I'm able to achieve that before I'm even able to be in a position to Help support others. any other person, you know, is to make sure that, you know, I get my music to a place where I'm comfortable enough 
you know, to take on the burden of somebody else. Okay, so are you, are, 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 would you say you are, I mean, this is a totally weird question, but I don't know why I certainly just feel inclined to ask if you're like politically inclined, are you big on that? Would you definitely be talking big about your, getting your fans to vote in the coming elections? Or are you one yeah. that would say, yeah, no, 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 I no, mean, no. If, even, even for me, recently, even with the registration, getting my card, and you know, I've had some of my friends, I've introduced them, I said, oh, this is where to get it. You know, for me, my, my opinion on voting is whoever you want votes, your choice. Are you going to come out to show public support for anyone? Um, I don't know that for now, but I mean, I know who I'm voting for. That's mm. what matters. I mean, okay. if at some point maybe I need to show public support, I don't know. I've Do you want to tell really, us who I've you never, might be voting I'm for? I'm voting for Obi. That's what I'm voting okay, for. Okay, okay. Because I sure. know now the next thing is going to be Chike's Obi yeah. on Twitter. That's going to be like a hashtag. But I've never tweeted anything. So yeah. you, yes, I've just never said anything. But mm -hmm. I'm just that's where I'm voting. Okay. Um, you can vote for whoever you want to. You want to vote. That's completely your choice. You just for me, it's what Nigeria do you want to see tomorrow? Yeah. So based on that. Good choice. So in terms of the entertainment space in music, because I know there's still a lot of come up to do. Some people would say the one thing that thrives in Nigeria is the one is the entertainment industry. And that is because you have yes. people who are doing their own thing without Actually, a lot of... I was of even going to say that before you said it. Yeah. Yeah, because as an, in any business, you know, if it's your thing, mm -hmm. you go make sure, say, you it's didn't 100. drown. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? It's just that simple. So it's... I think they call that privatization. Is yeah. that what it is? Yeah. I, I hope I, I got that correct. <laughs> yeah. It's just so with, with the music, most people are, are entrepreneurs. Most people are, they, it's the private sector, you know. So I think maybe that's why, you know, you don't, you it, don't want your own money to miss now. To miss. Okay. Yeah. Another question for you, Chike. Who's going to yeah. sing at your wedding? I can assure you that should they come when I get married, I will not be singing. <laughs> Because I don't get it. Yo, like, I, I see some weddings and some people, you see some lady who pick up the mic. I just start like a worship <laughs> session. I'm like, madam, ah, you have like the rest but of the like, to do why would you sing though? Him. Why would eh? you not sing at your wedding? Why would I do that? Why won't you? You're chicke. Don't you sing at? Literally almost every other weekend, I'm seeing another video of some so lady let me, let crying. Me tell, let me tell you something. Yeah. I don't think that for any time when I'm in a relationship or friendship, I've never sang for a lady. Last time I did that was, was probably when I was a teenager. But now, ah, I don't think I keep no, play no. You should not have told us this one. <laughs> no. No, what I probably, do you mean? I probably wouldn't sing it directly to you because um, I don't know. Chica, I don't you're know. joking with me. I don't believe that. I, I probably wouldn't sing it directly to you. I mean, if I'm involved with you, yeah. No, I'll just probably just ask. Is there anything you want? Let me pay for it. <laughs> I think, don't, don't break my heart, don't do this. Uh, so you, I, why do I get this feeling that you're not very romantic? Oh, no, no. You like, know, you're not the, I'm going to get you flowers no, and, no, no. you know, okay. take you out and sing. Did you, have you seen Pretty Woman? No, I haven't. Okay, so basically, at the end of the movie, this man shows up, like, you know, in a limo, and he's yeah. singing with flowers. and. I get flowers now. Yeah, but do you sing? But, singing okay. is a big no, deal. No, let's go back to the territory in which we're in. Okay. I'm a Nigerian, born and brought up in Nigeria. I live in Nigeria. Can I be honest with you? Uh huh. Is there anybody who give flower? Just flower. No, we don't look up. Yeah, see, let me tell you. What? Especially a flower that they not need to be watering. Which water? Which light? You know, stress the person. You see, that's the truth. You know, most times we're copying a lot of this culture and we forget the reality of where we're in. I, yeah. I'm, I'm cool. I mean, the first time I started doing flowers, when I, before I had my show in London, you know, I had a, a friend here in Nigeria, I made sure she sent over flowers to me. Okay. But even myself, I call it, which kind of work with this? <laughs> <laughs> Do you get once in a while, I go, what time? They say that so, so what food. would you say is your love language? You know, I had a friend of mine educate me on love languages recently. I'm like, okay, I know mine, but hmm. what is yours? I could say mine is, is if I know that, that I, I, I think now it's, it's just trust. It's a hmm. big one because sometimes, you cannot know right away that you can trust somebody. It takes a series of events for you to know. But I think that's what it is now. Because at the end, you know, for me, when I narrow it down and forget about the distraction of, okay, whether I want to talk to the most beautiful girl yeah. or the one with the features I like or the one with the mind I like, mm -hmm. yeah, I just realized that I'm always going to narrow it back to, can I trust this person? Can I trust this person? Yes. It's okay. very important. Because All right, even so me. Even you. Ah, you get. I don't get. You can never get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chicken, at this point in time, yeah, we gotta wrap this up. So you get to ask, but please, the last time I did this, I yeah. regretted it. Yeah. It was with Ice Prince, and okay. he asked me. Yes, I get to ask what again. You get to ask me whatever you wanna ask me, but you yeah. have to be nice. Don't ask me anything that's gonna make me like just lose my call and make all my followers on Instagram like, you know, please be kind. So you get to ask me one. Don't, don't pick, the way you're looking at me, Chicky, don't ask me anything <laughs> terrible. You get to ask me one question. So what do you wanna know? Interview me. Hmm. 
Hey, <laughs> too deep in my mind. I don't feel talking about. Let me narrow it down. What do I want to know? Okay, I'm just gonna make it simple. Okay, make it simple. Um, are you shaking? As you're shaking, I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm worried. Okay, go, 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 um, go. Don't ask you. Don't ask me. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna make it something simple. Um, do you love being? Do you love working here? What? Lives? I do. It gives me. That's simple. You owe me off camera. Because uh, there's no obvious answer for that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Thank, thank you. You see, you're thank top you. knuckle. You're Deal. a solid one. You're really yeah. cute. Brother All right, coolies. Up. Well, Chike. I looked after you there. Brother you did, keeper. you did. You did. Thank uh, you. Like, really, like, that's my guy right there. That's what everyone else should do. Like, just ask me something simple. They're no boy you should talk to. They know they enjoy this place. <laughs> As in, do I? <laughs> Oh. Chike, thank you so much for joining me on the show thank today. So and congratulations again on that Soul For More album. Yes, I'm going to be chugging in. And you know yes, me now. I'm going to hit you up and let you know. Chike, why did you weeks. say this one, dear? What, why did you say like this? I was being <laughs>